Hi guys, how's it going? Laura with Garden Answer. We are in Columbus, Ohio at Cultivate 2017. So Cultivate is basically a giant gardening trade show. There are acres and acres of vendors here, over 675 companies in booths of various sizes. And this show is geared really toward industry people, but anybody can come. Um, their companies are showing off like new technology, new equipment, new varieties that are, aren't even out on the market yet. It's really an inspiring place to be. So I just wanted to show you guys around. So this is the Braun booth, and I always really like to look at their things. It's a lot of stuff that's kind of right up my alley style-wise. And we've actually used a lot of their products in our projects before, and there are a couple things that I think you guys are going to really like. So check these out. These are for succulents. Look at how cool these are. These are like things I see in really neat furniture stores, but you can um, plant them up. They're all stuffed with moss. So there's that one and this one here. And then these ones. Look at how cute that is. So they have built in so you can hang them on the wall and just plant them up with succulents. I think I'm going to need to get some of these for my house. And one other thing that Braun has that I just learned about, it's a brand new product, are these metal containers. Aren't these so beautiful? I love them in all the sizes and in all the shapes. I think they're just wonderful. And I even like these troughs, these long planters. Wouldn't this look great like down the center of a table or on like a console table, a sofa table? I think it would be really neat. So check this out. This is the dram booth. It starts here and it goes all the way back to that wall over there. This is a massive booth. You guys are probably familiar with this brand because it's an industry standard. You find it everywhere in independent garden centers. Almost every single grower operation has these because they truly are the best. This is what we use at our garden center. Um, and I love, love these water wands. This is my favorite size right here. So this is a 30 inch. And the reason why I like it so much is look at this. When I'm watering plants, I don't have to bend over at all. And I love that. So I've got almost all of my hoses at home switched over to this size of wand. But I do also like this right here. This is just a hose end and it's got different options for water flow. And the reason why I really like this one is because I can click it over here to jet and I can clean off all of my sidewalks because it concentrates the water into a single stream and makes it super strong pressure and I can just spray off my sidewalks and make them really clean. So I have a few of these at home as well. So we were also looking at these carts because we were trying to figure out a solution for how to fertilize all the plants at our house. And I was talking to you guys about this in a previous video, like what is the best option? What do you guys think? Um, and some of you guys actually linked one of these water carts. So it's a cart that um, holds 50 gallons of water and it has a pump in it and a battery so that you are completely free of any cords. You can have a hose attachment put on here so your hose goes with you and you can just wheel it around your property and water. And so I was talking to one of the guys in the booth yesterday and kind of explaining our situation and how spread apart my pots are. And he actually said, I don't think that this is the best solution because these are gonna get a little bit heavy um, and it's really a good idea to use an injecting system, which I will explain to you guys in a different video. So he actually introduced us to a different company called Dosatron. Uh, and I thought that that was so cool because he listened to our problem and he found a solution even though it wasn't a solution that made him a sale. And I think that that is so cool and I really like working with companies like that that um, just want the best solution for their customer. So Dosatron will show you their booth there here as well. Um, and hopefully we get an injecting system at our house and I can show you how that works. I think it's gonna make it seamless and a lot easier. Oh, look at this display. These are endless summer hydrangeas and what a cool way to display them just spilling out of the back of a delivery van. Oh, stunning. There are a couple display gardens right in the middle of the show that are really neat. They're showcasing beautiful plants. This one is themed hashtag plants do that. And it's basically just showing you a bunch of different ways that plants impact us, you know, around our homes, schools, workplaces. So they've got a bunch of different um, facts up on these banners. So like this one right here says a 25 foot tree can reduce heating and cooling costs by eight to 12%. So it's just a really good reminder that plants not only make everything look beautiful, but they're also serving a greater purpose as well. And this garden showcases elements and plants that are pollinator friendly. So plants that attract honeybees, it's called Grow Wise, Be Smart. And there's just a bunch of beautiful things like echinaceas and butterfly bushes, really gorgeous cannas, monarda, which is a huge honeybee attractor basically a lot of pretty plants and a lot of pretty color. 
And here's Crescent Gardens booth, and it was really fun to see that they were here. I didn't know that they were going to be at this show, so I got to meet a couple of the people that work for them. And you guys might remember that we have worked with this company before. We have several of these containers, actually. This is called the Dot Planter that has the True Drop self-watering system inside it. We trialed it last year. We had, I think, a, the, about this size last year. And we were able to go 26 days between filling the reservoir with water, which was absolutely amazing. Um, and that was, I think we planted that up like late summer, so it wasn't, it didn't have to go through the really intense heat. But this summer, we planted up 12 of these, this size right here, and we put them right in a spot that gets full sun. They're not protected from wind at all, and we've had a couple of really horrendous windstorms. And in the beginning, so we planted them in May, in the beginning, we were able to go um, at least 25, 26, 27 days between filling reservoirs. And now that the temperatures are over 100 degrees, I check them every five to seven days and I'm probably filling the reservoirs maybe every 10 to 14 days, which is amazing still. That's still such a huge savings of time when I'm not having to water these pots every single day. So I'm really enjoying having these. It's also really fun to see what else they have available and some of the things they brought to the show that I haven't seen yet. So I wanted to show you guys the booth really quick for Root Pouch, which we just recently uploaded a couple videos where we um, planted up some of their pouches. And they're really cool because they're made out of recycled plastic water bottles, which I think is such a great thing. And I love that they're more designer. So you've probably seen like fabric bags for planting before, and they're mostly just charcoal gray or black. But these have got more colors, more sizes, and the, most especially they have really shallow ones that are really great for like events and for tabletops, like for succulents and things like that. So anyway, they're a little bit busy in there. I just wanted to show you. So just to give you guys an idea of the vastness of variety at this show, on my right hand, we've got beautiful baskets and flowers and more decorative items. And on my left hand, we've got grower equipment. So this is Dosatron. This is the fertilizer injector system that Duran thought would be the best solution for our fertilizing problem at our house because we have so much to fertilize. It works really easy. Um, so basically how it works is that this hose would actually attach to your spigot. This one would actually be the hose that you would water with, but they have them going down into the bucket just for display purposes today so they could have all the water cycling because this pump runs on pure water pressure. So the water that comes in here, through here, through your spigot, runs this and then it can drop the amount of fertilizer you need based on the uh, where you set it and then it runs out your hose. So you can basically just fertilize a ton of stuff without having to stop and mix up buckets and buckets and buckets full of fertilizer. Really excited to try it out at home. So you guys, that is this show in a very tiny nutshell. I wish we could show you all of the booths here, um, but with 675 of them, that would take a lot of time. And you can imagine how long it takes to walk through this show. So it takes most people a couple of days. This show usually runs for three days. Um, but if you even stop at one booth for 30 minutes because it's got something that's interesting to you, I mean, think about how many times you'll stop along the way. There's so many interesting things. Um, a lot of tools, I mean, some of the things we didn't show you were the tool booths, um, soil, hydroponics, there's a lot of fertilizers, um, a lot more plant breeder um, and plant displays. It's just really amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tour. We're having a ton of fun here. I'm getting totally inspired. We'll see you in the next one, bye. Solution for my fertilization, fertilization problem, <laughs> fertilizing problem. Okay. And this garden here. Attention, please. New to the